Hey everybody, it's Jace with Marshall Made Collectibles, and today we have a very special review and unboxing. Before I get started, though, I want to go ahead and give a quick shout out to my friends over at Time Walker Toys, and that's Steve Allen and his crew that made this review possible. First of all, if you've never been to Time Walker Toys, I will have a link in the description below. And simply put, they are one of the best online collectible dealers out there. They deal in 1 6 scale collectibles, they deal with like the Mezco 1 12 scale collectibles, and they do statues. And they even have a section in their store for consignments. So if you're looking for one of those out of date pieces that maybe you can't find anymore, they might have it there and they have really great prices. On top of that, they have bulletproof packaging and super fast shipping. I got this guy in like two days. So again, I'll have a link in that description below. And if you never shopped with them before, you might want to go ahead and check them out. You'll be glad you did. Anyway, well, let's go ahead and get started. What we have in front of us today is the Hercules figure. Now, this is a, a, a joint venture between TB League Executive Replicas and ARH Comics. Now, ARH, I believe, had done a statue of Hercules done in like this motif. And it is kind of reminiscent of the Hercules that we saw that uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson played in the movie. I uh, don't know when it came out. I think it was a few years ago. It wasn't terribly bad, but it wasn't terribly good either. Um, I am a huge fan now of TB League. If you go back in my reviews, I did their Bloodshot figure, which is a comic book character that I grew up with that I absolutely loved. I really like the way TB League does uh, their packaging because they're a magnetic flap. So if you want it to, you could actually have this in a detoff where you just fold it back. And I believe I mentioned that before with their Bloodshot figure. Unfortunately, on the back of these, it's just black. It's not like they they do uh, art on the backs, which would even be nice to have that as an extra. But on the front, you actually have a picture of the figure. It says Hercules 1-6 scale action figure. Got the ARH Comics logo. Now, I've never read any of the ARH Comics stuff. I know you can check them out on Amazon, and they do like graphic novels, and I believe they've got some novels over there as well. Uh, but as this turns, slowly, you'll see on this side we have another picture of the figure. And this time he's not wearing that lion-like uh, pelt. But we have Hercules with his sword drawn. So on the back it says Hercules 1-6 scale action figure. And then we have a brief bio on Hercules. You have your little warning barcode and again... Uh, we have who was responsible for it, which was Executive Replicas, ARH Comics, and TB League, formerly known as Fison. And then as we turn to the other side, we have another picture of Hercules this time. Uh, he has his club drawn, looking spectacular. And that's what I really love about these figures. Not only do they have like a good weight to them, they they really feel substantial. And I believe this piece, you can get it for around 149 even though I've seen it cheaper in some other places, which is a really good deal for what you get because um, TB League, not only do you get the figure and all the accessories, but they usually uh, have like a really nice display base, and this is no exception. It comes with a really nice polystone display base. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get with our Hercules. Okay, and after you take the cover off, you take a foam insert, and we are greeted to the body of the figure, his sword, a dagger, a scabbard, the head sculpt, and some hands. Now, the hands are just in this little cross-like pattern. Um, the figure comes with a pair of fists on, and you get a pair of relaxed hands. Now, I'm not sure if these are the same hands that... Uh, that come with the M34 or the M35 body. I would imagine they would be. Uh, then we have a pair of gripping hands. Very nicely detailed. There is some uh, fluctuation in paintwork on them, so they're just not the flat uh, color. So there are some little, um, you can see some variations in tone around the knuckles palms not a huge amount not we're not talking like uh 
that like you see on some that has the massive paint apps on them. We do have a very nice sword. That silver paint is really reflective. It's really picking up my uh, studio light that I have on it right now. Very nice detail on these. Um, that hilt looks really well done. Paint apps are extremely solid. There is no slop. Really looks nice. I mean, for a plastic piece, they really pulled off a metal sword well, which is kind of hit and miss when you think about it, because some um, times when they use plastic, it really looks cheap. Um, that is it really nice. The scabbard is done with like the ornamental uh, gold detail on it, but the scabbard itself is made to look like a chunk of carved wood. And you can see the wood grain in it. That's very nice. You got the little opening for the dagger. Let's take a look at the dagger. And the dagger has a like a wooden handle on it as well. And the silver is done in that same kind of silver metallic paint. Uh, and let's see how it, the fit is. Fits nice in the scabbard. Actually, it's just a friction joint, but it's done in such a way that it will not be loose. Uh, so no matter how you pose Hercules, if you had this on his belt, it's not going to fall out unless you take it out. That's extremely nice. That's very well made. Um, let's go ahead and do the head sculpt. Now I know I've, I've seen where some people say it looks like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. There might be a hint of the rock in there, but I really don't see it that well. This looks like a, a generic bearded, long haired figure for Hercules, which is nice. I really don't want something that looks like the rock. I would rather have something that might be a little hint of him in the eyes, but it's a very nice sculpt. Really good paint apps. Those eyes are painted extremely well. Hair's a little wild right now. A little conditioner and uh, a toothbrush can uh, make a world of difference on these uh, uh, haired pieces. That's beautiful. It's a really nice sculpt. I like it a lot. And then we have the Hercules body. Um, wow. Already looking at it, it looks, um, it's massive. Now, like I said, I believe this is the M34 or the M35, which is their muscle building body like they would have for the, like an Arnold figure. Man, he is tight. He is heavy. I know I said that before when I did the bloodshot figure, but oh my God, he's got a ton of weight to him. Um, see, in something like this, the seamless body just it just shines on a figure like uh, you would have for Hercules. This has that steel armature inside. Um, got some nice uh, leather work there. He's got his belt on, uh, his loincloth which is made out of a leather-like material. It's weathered. It looks nice. Of course, the, the star of the show is that body. And there is paint inflections on the body. It's not just flat color. If you look, there's some red in the legs and the knees. I've seen where some people have taken, um, like, uh, weathering powders, like a dark earth color or, a, like, a tan, and they'll go into the lines of the the muscles and it brings them out where they look more defined i don't know if i'll do that or not just a tremendous piece uh, he's got his sandals on and the sandals are like one piece like a boot almost really nicely sculpted beautifully painted again no slop And they seem to be flexible enough to give you, yeah, slight posability. Might have been smart if they would have done like the cut lines right in here, where you would have had the full posable ankle joint, and these would have just been like sheaths that came down, kind of like how uh, 
some people do boots for like the superhero figures. Uh, he's got some tissue protecting, I guess, his stuff there. Up underneath, he's got like a pair of black un underoos or what have you. Uh, we got some nice wrist guards there. A little snap here that must be for something to put on. I am really digging the amount of, t I mean, I know that the costume's not like got a huge amount of material or like a little fleck thing on his peck. These bodies are just simply stunning. And that metal armature up under them, I mean, they're just, there's like not a pose you can't put these in. It just feels substantial, like you have something of, of like, mass, which is perfect for like a Hercules or like if you were buying just the body to do like an Arnold figure. The other uh, leather arm bracer is a plastic molded thing, but I mean like, you can see the buckle detail in there. It's just stunning. They do such good work. All right, let's go ahead and get to the other tray. Alrighty, and as we move that out of the way, um, oh, it's like a multiple tray, so we have another one to go down. Uh, we have his shield, and it appears to have like some ram horns there, some chains going into it. You got that wood grain again. I have like a silver metal with a nice patina on that. Again, like solid paint lines. I mean. I think that's like my biggest thing here lately. I've seen so many things painted that just have slop, but I mean like they have it even like where these points are a different silver and then right at the edge of them, it has like a dirt line where it would just have that wear. And these chains are sculpted and they look like real little chains that are attached to it. They've done a beautiful job. Then the back of it, you again have that wood grain, the handle for him to grab onto, an elastic strap there. That would have been nice if that was leather instead of elastic. That kind of takes away from the aesthetics, but you're really not going to see the back. Just a beautiful piece. Um, and we'll have to take off another foam layer. Okay. And we have his shoulder armor. That is really nicely sculpted. And it is a rubber piece. Yeah, it is all. That's where I guess where it would snap into the, the part that we saw on the strap. Again, beautifully painted looks like leather on top of leather and then you have that ornate detail on it that is awesome he has the club now this thing's got some weight i wonder if it's I don't feel a flex. It might be a like a poly resin. It is it's got some serious weight to it. You got those I don't know if they're supposed to be teeth or claws that are coming out of there. Or it looks like it's leather wrapped and again the tight paint lines in there where it does look like it's actually wrapped and it's all sculpted. Got that wooden, like, it, it's just beautifully done. I am such a fan of uh, TB League stuff. It's it's crazy. I am going to get the Red Sonya figure. I know it's been out for a little while, but I will do a review of her when I get her as well. Very nice. Um... We have the lion head pelt, which can fit on the sculpt. A 
again, just beautiful work, even in the gum line of that. And you've got the fur that simulates the mane and then the back to look like uh, the actual fur of the back of the line. And that will sit on the head sculpts. Let me take that out. Like that. That looks too cool. Yeah, I am really liking that. That looks so good. All right, and we have the polystone base. And again, it will have the the foam on the back that says TB League on it. Wow, this has some good weight to it too. And there's so much going on with this base. I mean, you've got the, the rock here, a multitude of skulls, bone. Uh, you got some earth tone, some green. You got like a piece of a log jetted out there. Then you even have some like Greek Roman kind of architecture piece there that's broken, a piece of a wall that's broken. So much going for this piece instead of just like some cheap little black crotch grabber stand. I mean, that is a good hunking base. Let me go back so I can get it all in the camera. That's just simply stunning. And it, it helps create a scene. I mean, like you could have him standing up here, one foot up there. And when I do like the multiple poses at the end, when I do my HD photos, I'll have him in a, in a array of uh, different setups using this base. But that's just gorgeous. Okay, give me a minute. Let me go ahead and get him set up real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back, and we have Hercules all set up. And I got to say, he's very impressive. Let's go ahead and start the turntable. Everything about this figure is done with the utmost care, and there's a lot of love for the source material. Um, I know they had some pre-production photos that came out where the head sculpt really was reminiscent of Dwayne the Rock Johnson, and they were really trying to shoot for like that that 2014 movie. Um, this is more of a generic sculpt, and if you look at this sculpt compared to that original sculpt, it's completely different, and I'm really glad they did that. I don't want to look at Hercules on my shelf and see the Rock. Um, I know he's played the role, but he does not define the character. Anyway, it's an amazing piece for the price point. You're looking at 149 or less when most Hot Toys figures are going for anywhere from 230 to 250, and you're getting like the little cheap black sand. Uh, I actually have him on this because he's rotating, but with this figure, you get that beautiful uh, polystone display base which is like a diorama. And if you hang back to the end, I will have some HD photos of him all posed up and in some different positions using that base. But um, it's a, an excellent value. And I'm just thoroughly impressed with TV League's figures. They're, the bodies are amazing with that metal armature up underneath. You don't see any of those joint lines or what have you. Um, again, it's, a, it's another win-win for, for TV League. Uh, executive replicas and ARH comics. Anyway, if you hold back at the end, like I said, we'll have some of the HD photos. Uh, if you're new to our channel, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It means the world to us. We are a young channel and uh, we're really trying to grow. Definitely trying to get at least three to four uh, videos out a month and your patronage and uh, liking and subscribing and being a a subscriber to us really helps us attain that goal. So I appreciate you all being here, all our longtime watchers. We appreciate you. And all our new subscribers, thank you for joining us. And again, this is Jace for Marshall Made Collectibles. Take care.